Perfect. everybody and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist Tom Stevens here to break down the lyrics to some awesome music and today we get to react to another song by Joji. Slow Dancing in the Dark. Sounds like a relationship song to me. I can't wait to get into it. Thank you for being a part of Reaction Therapy, for helping us be the close, huge, wonderful family that we are. Check out our new memberships on YouTube if you want to support what Reaction Therapy is doing. And we have subscriptions over on Patreon as well. Please, if you want to support, great way to do it because we're trying to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. And without further ado, get into this. Joji, Slow Dancing in the Dark. Yeah. This is something. I got a lecture from many people last time after listening to Joji because I'm trying to interpret the songs as I see them and what I'm hearing in them. And also it mixes in these videos that have some, some different things. And yes, I don't know the entire history of Joji. Maybe a good, you know, that could be a good thing for people because all I'm doing is listening to what the music's given me and I'm listening and reading what the lyrics are saying to me, actually, which is what's great about music, right? It's so interpretive so much of the time, but this just describes a relationship to me, a breakup, actually, that he's kind of like, look, you've already made up your mind. It's kind of like we're broken up. I, he doesn't seem happy about it. It does it's not what he wants in life. Uh, and, you know, if, if I'm slow dancing in the dark, kind of just floating around, don't come around because you're going to end up in my arms. It's going to end up recycling this all over again. And it's just too painful. At least that's what I heard in the very beginning. I'm just done fighting all night. And it's like this back and forth, right? That codependency, that relationship that just can't seem to work out. So he ends up in a spot where he's all alone, and doesn't like it. And who does? It's no fun. Breakups are no fun. Stressful relationships are no fun. And, you know, you've made up your mind. I don't need another sign. God, this is really something. And the way this music plays out, if you listen to that and listen to the feeling behind it. But the way he sings his lyrics, too, is really interesting. Unique. You don't made up your mind. Yep. I don't need a word. the passion that's behind this voice maybe it's just my headphones so intense stabbed literally in the back it looks like to me almost like he's been stabbed in the back she's found somebody else just be with him there is no way i'm gonna compete with that so just let's move on down the road oh you looked at me like i was someone else that is so painful 
Hmm. I don't want to slow dance in the dark. I want to be on the light. I want to be with everybody can see us. I want us back together. It's got to be that. But he feels stabbed in the back. talking about she's doing so great she's moving on he is bleeding out on the floor right now y'all if this doesn't scream mental health awareness nothing does and mental dysfunction actually because it's the pain okay whether this is actually truth in this song or not it's the pain of a relationship when you put yourself all in you're vulnerable you risk you take a chance you allow yourself to be hurt and you get hurt and then you're laying on the floor, floor in a pool of blood, symbolically. Like, I am just in so much pain. I can't take it anymore. I'm done. I'm out. And you know what? She's moving on. She's got somebody else, or she deserves somebody else, or she doesn't want me anymore. And I'm having to live with the pain of this. And you're moving on. And it's so hard to see any life past that. But life is past that. That's where you need help. You need support. It doesn't mean for every single little thing, you got to go to therapy. It really doesn't mean that. But as a therapist, I'm going to tell you, it's a quick way to at least get things back on track, even if it's not all the time, to have somebody that's really good that can kind of tweak and, and switch things around and get you back rolling again. But support groups work, close friends that are supportive, that will spend time with you, family, being able to you know, start a new routine of exercise, of reading, of starting some kind of new hobby that gets your mind focused in a new direction. There's so many different things you can do, but you have to stay out of curling up in a ball in a dark room, right? To bring yourself back down. And this is where he's at. Shutting me out of you. Mm, doing so great. It's so sad. Yeah. Oh, the blood. Joji, slow dancing in the dark. If that doesn't have relationship and mental health treatment all over it, I don't know what does. This is the perfect description. Get in a relationship, relationship falls apart, breaks apart, breaks up, somebody leaves you, you get left, whatever happens, it's terrible. You end up laying on the floor. You got two choices. Stay on the floor and bleed out. Step up, get one foot in front of the other, get help, go see a therapist, go see a mentor, Go see a support group that can help you in a local community church somewhere else. Go see friends, family, people who are around you, who love you. Start a new routine. Worst case scenario, get new hobbies. Start a new balanced lifestyle. Exercise, eating, sleeping, 
hydrating, all that stuff coming together so that you can move in a new direction because there is hope. I think Joji would say that too. There is hope that you can have a better relationship. There's hope that you can have a better life and it's not going to be without pain. It's not going to be without recovery and suffering through the sadness and the grief of losing something. And the one thing that you've got is to realize that you can actually make life better in spite of how it was yesterday, that you have a choice, not for it to be perfect and not for all that to disappear and go away, but for you to understand, especially a good treatment, to understand what just happened, what's the pattern that developed, what can I do to stop it from the future, and how can I rebuild myself to believe in myself that I deserve love again, because it is possible. But remember, this isn't real therapy, just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. If you want professional help, check the links in the description of this video. There are resources there, but you know what you got to do now. Leave your comments, feedback, insight. Let me know what you think about Joji, slow dancing in the dark, and all things relationship, because that's what we do here at Reaction Therapy, mental health treatment to the world through music and lyrics. Go check the Discord server. People are chatting right now. And if you want to support us here, go join our membership on YouTube and over at Patreon. There's more content, live streams, connection with us all over the place. And I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.